Why? Hey guys, welcome back to Stewie's Garage. Today I'm gonna talk about a turbo problem I had on my Audi A4 1.8T turboed engine with the KO3 turbo. I have a video on my channel about how that turbo broke on me and this is the video where I'm taking it apart and kind of fixing it. So I'm just gonna show that and yeah, you can find that video here. Check that one out to see it. Yeah, let's get to it. Hey, Stewie from the future here. So, while I was filming that video, I had a lot of problems with my camera, and I missed the rest of the disassembly, so I'm gonna show you some of the things that you need to take off to remove the turbo, because I wasn't able to film it then. Hopefully I can film it now. Anyways, so the things I missed pointing out was, we're gonna wanna remove, there's three of these big bolts on the top of the exhaust. You have to remove those kind of hard, and then there's the flange bolts it actually connected to the exhaust pipe so there's three of those nuts and then it'll separate so those are the hardest things to get off for doing the turbo is just these three on top they go to the manifold and then these three for the flange there's a coolant line as well that goes into the side of the block that one's kind of tricky to get to that's that's about it there's the oil feed line but that's pretty easy and then you can snake the turbo out but i would recommend taking out that headlight that makes a lot of <laughs> access room. All right, here we are again. Got the turbo off and we're going to be removing this wastegate. Look at how it's just, it just freely moves. So I done did that bolt. I'm going to pull that out. I got some replacement parts here and we're going to put that back on. I need to weld it back together. That's the one reason I need the welder. Um, but yeah, should be, should be all right. All right, here's it all done. I welded it up, not super pretty, but it looks good there. Got that arm fix, and there's our new wastegate latch, and it's adjusted properly, so I'm gonna go ahead and send it and throw it on. See what happens. All right, just verifying the boost gauge. Verifying the turbo now. able to weld up that turbo surprised that's great um, these don't make a lot of boost I mean the most I've seen is like eight psi I think maybe nine uh, but yeah it's good enough for me it seems like it's working all right so we were able to successfully fix the turbo on this Audi and honestly that footage was from a year ago where I'm like fixing it taking it apart and welding it I've put 30,000 miles in the last year on this thing I've been driving it commuting like crazy and it's still working good. So that repair does work. I would say if you're gonna do it, you can find those parts, like the wastegate and a new wastegate and all that on eBay. Um, all you really need is a welder and a grinder to do those repairs. I mean, it's like the tiniest bit of welding so you could take it in somewhere or something. Really just like almost like spot welding a little bit. So really easy. I'm no welder, but I was able to do it. But anyways, thanks for watching. Good luck on your Audis and your turbos. And like this video, it helped you out. Thanks. See ya.